my personal interactions with many people, many says that no, it's a good thing to have professional work and it's, it's very, it's all good. But many says that no, there is a lot of family life which is which gets compensated in different ways. At the end of the day, I think we, you know, we have to work and we have to have a profession like all, all human beings are, like our men counterparts are. And we have to still be happy and contribute positively to the society and myself and the family. So it can't be very negative. I, that's that's my own personal take. Uh, the entire work balance mm -hmm. depends on the phase of life we are in. Mm -hmm. That is, it is different for, for me, it is different for her and different for each woman. Because it depends also that whether we want to pursue a career or we want to have a job. Because if we can also go for a 9 to 5 job, we can get back home, we can uh, give some time to our family and at the end of the day we can also find some me time for us. Mm -hmm. But if we want to go for a career, then we have to give it something a little bit more than what we give in a job. If there is a proper family support which is very 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 essential for women, at least for me I will say that personally if my parents wouldn't have backed me up, I wouldn't have been able to achieve uh, even 1% of whatever small amount I have achieved today. I have a very small kid back at home. I am more or less a single mother. My husband doesn't stay over here. So I have to uh, devote time to my family. But what makes it easier for me is that the, my parents support me while I go out. Mm -hmm. So that is also, I think it's very, very important for women to have a proper family support, have a proper priority checklist that what I want in life and to set a plan for it. I may fall flat on my plan a number of times but I know where to work on that plan so that in future I can have a smooth way out. Wonderful you said here. Yeah. It's true that if family's support at home is not there then many times it becomes very difficult. And, but we still see that there are many women who doesn't have that much of family support still in it. Absolutely. So that's, that's all we see. So they must be having some other Miracle magic formula with them to look at that. Myself, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I am a single parent. My husband is on the others in the armed forces. And uh, managing time with a 13 year old child is very difficult. But I had planned that there should be a, a work and family balance. And according to me, the family is a priority. And without your career, you are unhappy. So I opted a small duration of work. Me being possibly being paid less, but I'm happy with that. And uh, the thing is that for any day who is in profession, uh, time poverty will always be there. Time for mine that we call. Time poverty will always be there because they have to set a priority and even look after their own profession. Quality work and limited money and self-respect. So that was my priority. I have worked on it and I think I am very happy with it mm -hmm. along with my family. Yeah. That's, that's a very different way of looking at it. But so I've been trying to plan the professional uh, work time. So scheduling that time itself and then working on it so that consciously before I consciously you have taken up yes, before I take up maybe I have not earned so much I don't need to really achieve professionally so much because everything that we do professionally there is also time along with the more time we give at least for us doctors or even any other profession we give more time well okay after some time maybe probably you, you become a mature you have a full team of more people then you can probably use your time but initially or for many years actually your own time is very vital so you have restricted that so and then also have chosen to really work on your own for the, for the family well it works both ways i think uh, professional your professional life does impact your family life and your family life impacts your professional life it works both ways if you're single and pursue a career that's fine but if you are married with um, the entire gamut of relatives who come in with that, you are going to face a lot of, not opposition, but difficulty. Unless expectations are managed, unless they know and help 
Women in the 60s and 70s, there was a lot of expectation from them to stay at home, to look after the in-laws and your professional life is just a sort of a hobby. You should not, you know, give your full time. But times change. Women of those of that era have educated their children differently. So now you find the young people, both men and women, well, men slowly after 2,000 years of patriarchy, it takes time. They are beginning to adjust their expectations of each other. And things may possibly become easier as you grow older. One thing will never change. We are women. Children eventually are our first priority. So that is always going to be there. From my point of view, it's a women no. That uh, pressure in life does not have a negative impact on the family life. Because, see, I'm a mother of two. Like, if you tell me that your loving this child will have a negative impact on the other child, I won't be able to take it, right? So likewise, my professional life is also a child, and my, like, by uh, example I'm saying, my family is a child, and my professional life is a child. Uh, everyone should understand, women understand, but for men it is very important to understand that we as professionals, we have come to this field because we are passionate about the subject, mm -hmm. We want to achieve a lot in this subject. Why only men? Women also can achieve anything. The sky is the limit for us. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so for that, I feel that. So, why should I feel that by being in a profession, I'm not doing justice to my family? So that way, I feel that if I'm happy in my professional life, I will be uh, doing more justice to my family. Like I'm happy in whatever I am doing. I'll go home. I spend more quality time with my family. But quantity is not that important to me. The quality is more important. The society as a whole has changed these days. Okay. So men have become very clever. Okay. So what they are telling these days is you see a lot of advertisements also. Baby Durga and women having so many hands and this and that. Just and women also are falling into the trap. Mm -hmm. They are also thinking that yes, mm -hmm. we are superhumans. We are wearing a cape yeah. which is not visible, so we will do everything. everything. Okay, and in the process, men are just shying away from their duties, okay. which should not be. So, what is happening? The woman is striving hard. She's trying to do well in the professional field, then she's going home. Her husband is coming back equally tired, but the husband is just relaxing and she's doing all the work. So, what is happening? She is bound to falter, she is bound to make mistakes. And then the society, not only men, but there are women also, they will jump on you and they will say, I told you, professional work is not me. Work for maybe two to three hours, but you cannot strive for excellence. That is not your cup of tea. So what I feel is this mindset needs to change. Like we are no superhumans. We are ordinary humans. We try to balance our life and our family. Without working, you will not be happy. You have strived so hard to reach this position and now you say, no, I'm going to leave my job and I'm going to do whatever, career job, whatever, and I'm going to stay at home. You are not going to be a happy mother and your children are not going to be happy. So you're defeating the purpose. So you have to work yeah, so and you have to be so here. Indra Vinayan is talking about actually changing the, the blueprint of uh, how uh, you know, family support, the definition of family support, it can't be only the the you know the parents or it can be also extended to the husband and yes, the children definitely. and family. You know the the definitions need to change. One of the things which has not changed in the family, to the society and the family, the roles that needs to change. Then only we, that's then only that whole thing has to be you know, kind of more seamless. There are many women who is there may be another woman who is exactly with the same abilities that I have, the same uh, desires that I but have. She's but at. she is sitting at home. She doesn't have a voice. She doesn't have uh, the support. Maybe so. We are fortunate enough that we are able to reach a place where we can sit back and talk on a topic like this. But there are many many women right now also, and we are just belong to I think one to five percent of the population. The rest of the women they are still struggling just even so much. To Voice their thoughts. I also have seen that the, you know the, the the language of finance or the language of money is yes. again very a topic wrong. which the women don't like. You know the kind of the taka washa rojkar kordichi. Even that also, you know, you take the initiative and it yes. becomes like money is to be handled by the men. Yeah. 
but money is actually we have to understand the money how the money moves or what happens yes, you know where from it's coming enough. what how should we invest where it's coming mm, that's why not very that's very very very, important very important even yeah. for the professional women i'm yes. saying who have yes. reason to certainly they stay away from the discussion of money you are very so right. also also mm. very important that we don't like the talk of money. yes, yes. And and there are professionals and we always think that nothing is jani nahi ki but we need to grow we need to do this we yes do this. So this, this is essential the understanding of company reports what happens we are in state world so you know what is profit and loss what is investment what happens the economy i think it's very vital for all women to learn the language of money something which we you know kind of stay away from. as women i think we should support women trying to come up in every way and, and that's what, what the, that exactly what you were saying many women are not doesn't support many a times that's also don't support even now yeah even absolutely. now absolutely we should not think that we are super heroes that's, that's also very important Mm-hmm. We should practical. not think that we can do anything and everything. None of us are Madhur Gandhi. Yeah, we are not. Yeah. That's the tag which has been given to us. That that's put on us. Put for the male say. The male is very. We do enjoy that. Tell you, but we have to be clever. 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 not go for that means thinking that if i go for my ali you know compromising my family mm-hmm. i go for my dreams they should strive for anything and they can achieve it as much as they believe and yes women on this women's day i would say that women should be there for each other because that is the strongest support that anyone can ask for if women are there for each other women can achieve it. I think that's the very very nice way of ending this uh, you know today's panel discussion that women will be you know all women uh, and professional work actually do not have any negative balance on on family life so you know actually it, it encourages and enriches the family life uh, and we 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 actually encourage every woman to have a professional life and a career and financial independence So thank you all very much for having us in the panel discussion. Thank, thank you. you.